Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to save a load of money on our Microsoft Office. But is it the right way to do it? Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to get Microsoft Office 2016 uh, for as little money as possible, but also to do it in a kind of slightly grey but legitimate way. Now, you can on eBay find lots of bargains for Microsoft Office 2016, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So we're going to be looking at Office 2016. This is the five user edition with a lifetime license. Now, the, li the word... <laughs> The word license or the term license in this particular video can be used relatively loosely. Now there's going to be a lot of you out there which are probably going to say straight away, no it's not genuine, you must buy it from Microsoft. Now I kind of get what you're saying, now this isn't piracy as such, but it is skirting around the kind of licensing laws of how Microsoft work and also how they sell their products. So Microsoft do sell bulk licensing to things like academic places, businesses, all that kind of stuff and the businesses are well within their rights to add additional email accounts or user accounts to those bulk accounts to allow their users to use their um, license or their licensing agreement with Microsoft. So what people have kind of done is they bought an academic license and then they just sell the additional user licenses on places like Amazon, eBay, all those kinds of places for a massively reduced price than what the average user would pay directly to Microsoft or for a genuine license. So let's go to the computer now and we'll have a look on the eBay site at the particular license I'm looking at and one that I've actually used previously and I've found it to work very well. So I thought I'd make a video about it and show how it all works. So over to the computer. So all I've done was a simple search for Office 365 Lifetime Key. Now this is the one that's come up first of all. So Microsoft Office 365 2016 Pro Key 5 PC 5 terabyte storage Windows, Mac, 32, 64-bit license account. So as it says there in big letters and with the big tick marks by the side, this is 100% genuine, it's a lifetime license, you get fast delivery, and it's a multilingual account. So as you can see at the moment, at the moment there's more than 10 available, 16 have sold in the last 24 hours, and I did look on this particular uh, account, and they've sold about 500 of these licenses, so they've got a pretty good agreement going. Now this actually comes from New York, or the item's location is in New York. Now there isn't a physical product which gets sent out with this, it's purely a digital license. Over to the specs what we get. So 24-7 fast delivery, download online and use instantly. Five devices can be installed, support for Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac, etc. And you get five terabytes of cloud storage as we said. And it's a lifetime use with no additional payment. So let's look at some of the details that it says here. So as it says, no key is required. This is an account activation with support for five different devices or installation activations and includes the full Office 2016 experience. This is the local computer application plus more online features. And again, it goes on for five terabytes of cloud, five devices installation, more application templates and automatic update to the latest version. So this version does actually update via the Microsoft servers as you would expect from the full licensed product. So let's look at the highlights. So this is a new account that has been uh, completed with a lifelong subscription. Now the term long life subscription is slightly misleading. It doesn't say lifetime, it says lifelong. So if for some reason this particular person or vendor actually gets their account cancelled by Microsoft, then obviously that in turn will cancel your account and you'll no longer have access to your apps. At least you'll get the 30 day warning that you must renew your subscription, all that kind of stuff. So as it says there, it does not support renewal, it does not support new account activation, and it does not support renewal of existing accounts. So if you've got an existing Microsoft 365 account, which is expired, and you wish to extend it or renew it, this is not the product for you. Also, if uh, you're trying to create a new account with your email address and all that kind of stuff, this again is not for you. So as it describes, this account is a brand new email address that you cannot change the name. So you'll be sent an email address, which will be something along the lines of a 7 something something at something something.com or that kind of thing, you get it. Just a, a random email account and you'll be sent a random password. Now the first time you use this account, which you actually log into the Microsoft website, which is http colon forward slash forward slash portal.office.com. So that is an entirely genuine Microsoft site 
which actually if you are logging in as a academic user or first time user of Office 365 trying to do an installation, that is where you'd end up going to log in with your account details. So there's no, uh, no funny business, no diversion tactics, anything like that. This is a genuine Microsoft download. I can't stress that enough. This is entirely a genuine download from Microsoft and is actually activated on the Microsoft servers. So back to what we were saying. So since the beginning of the purchase, this account is the only credential you'll use for Office 365 and you will not receive any physical mailings. Uh, not entirely sure what that means. Uh, if you can decipher that, let me know in the comments section. So also you can add a sub account. So the sub account can be uh, used with specific email addresses or a special uh, suffix or affix to the address. Uh, however, the subsequent email address cannot have a history of registering or subscribing to Microsoft products previously. So the purpose, as it says, of adding a sub account is to let others know who created the Office document when it was created or when you use Outlook to let others know who you are. Now, I've actually used this before previously and I found that using my own Microsoft account on my PC, which I sign into as a Windows user, when I've then gone ahead and installed one of these licenses or this, uh, this suite of programs, uh, once I've added my email address to Outlook, as you would normally, all of my emails come through saying exactly who they're from and there's no problems whatsoever. And likewise, when I create a document, um, it always says documents creator is Mike Churchill, whatever. I've put in the uh, the system previously. So don't let that deter you. You're not gonna have some weird random email address on your uh, documents, all that kind of stuff. That's gonna be absolutely fine. So moving on, if you need any online function, please use your master account when logging into the Microsoft's official website. So say for instance, you've got your PC number one set up and you wanna set up PC number two. When you log in to download the, uh, the software, you'd use your primary account, which is the one which would have been created for you or that you'd received in your eBay messaging system. So as it says there, the first time you log in to Microsoft's official website, enter the account and the original password that you have been sent. You'll be prompted to change the password on the first uh, entry. So that is where you get your security or your stability from. So they send you a username and password as you'd expect from any IT company or if you're working in an office, that kind of thing. So you get a username and a password and immediately the first time you log in, it always says, can you choose a new password? So that is what we're pretty much used to seeing, not a massive deal. Uh, once you change the password, the account will completely be owned by you. So they will no have no longer access to it. So it says this is for your account security. Once the password is lost, now this is the password that you've created yourself, uh, you will lose the qualifications to use Office 365. So the password that you change to, change it to something you remember, write it down somewhere, make a note of it, do whatever you can. Make it a memorable password if you want to, but make sure you keep it because if you need to reinstall or do anything, you will need the password. They will not send you a, uh, a password reset or anything like that. So as it goes on saying, we are selling the account that has completed subscription and the original password. So basically to go over what they said again, so it's a lifetime subscription without activation, no need to renew, purchase can be used for life or the lifetime of the account. Um, enjoy continuous update as the latest version of Microsoft Office 2016. So Office 365 contains the entire suite application and when there's a patch or an update, you'll automatically get that. So unlike with kind of KMS activators and all that kind of thing, um, they don't allow you to connect to the Microsoft update servers. And generally, in my experience, using a KMS activator or any kind of patch to uh, gain activation on a product is generally a bad idea and I would definitely not recommend it. So moving on, so it can be used in five devices, as we said, suitable for Windows, Mac, and mobile. So if you want to, you can use this on your Android or Apple devices with the account that is set up. Uh, obviously you can use it on Mac and Windows. Um, again, log into the official website, directly online installation and installation to the computer, and then you can work offline if you need to. You don't need to be online to use this product. It works exactly as it would if you installed it from the uh, Microsoft servers because that's where you've installed it from. It is a genuine Microsoft product. The licensing may be a little bit of a gray area, but it is a genuine 100% Microsoft product. So moving down to delivery and services. So new accounts and original password will be sent to you via eBay message, which we have had uh, due to network problems and obviously problems with uh, spam, that kind of thing. They don't send it directly to your email address that you've registered to eBay. Now I actually ordered this at uh, 8.30 this evening 
and I had the email address and all the details come through to me in my inbox, or Kath's inbox rather, within about 20 to 25 minutes. So it was a, uh, a very, very quick process. Now it says there we will refresh every 15 minutes to order. So in theory, delivery time should be no more than 15 minutes. So we're a little bit outside of that, uh, but it was very much a timely delivery as they say there. And they're saying obviously because of different time zones around the world, then uh, depending where you are, it may take a little bit longer, but generally they try and do it very quickly. Now we're lucky that uh, it's quite late here in the UK, and I guess over in the States, in New York, then it's a little bit further behind, so probably about eight hours or so. So it worked out okay, and we got it through very quickly. Now, going down a bit further, it says, we strongly urge you to remember the revised new password. Once the password is lost, we cannot help you reset. This is for safety. Once you change your password, the account is completely yours. So like they're saying there, they're, they don't have access to your account once you've changed the password, which obviously is a good thing for security, uh, but not such a good thing if you forget your account password. You will be locked out if you need to do a reinstallation or for some reason the, the software asks you for the password for something. Uh, again, if you have any problems during installation um, or how to set up a sub account, you can contact us via eBay message. So they're quite, quite open to help you should you have any problems. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So they go through after common installation problems, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, they do say that it would be a, a very good idea if you've already got any Microsoft accounts uh, or Office software, remove it in its entirety before you start this process, uh, just in case there's any conflicts or that kind of stuff. Um, but essentially that is pretty much it. Generally, I would think most people are gonna be buying this or people are building um, relatively cost-effective computers and they want to add a Microsoft account to it. So literally they're going to have a brand new computer, fresh install of Windows, and then freshly install the Office 365 using this account and then pass on the password, which again, password wise is probably not the securest way of doing it, but it certainly does help to save an absolute ton of money. Uh, it goes down further to talk about the eBay policy for the countries, OEM bundle software, all that kind of stuff. And essentially they've had these on, well, as you can see, there's tons of these. They're sponsored items that come through all with very similar uh, prices and instant activation, all that kind of stuff. This happens on eBay a lot of the time. There's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of these listings. And again, eBay is a massive company. eBay and Microsoft obviously talk to each other in some respects. And if there was a problem with this, or if there was actually an illegal thing, I'm sure that um, these listings would be taken off of eBay, but they're not, they're still on there and they do sell a lot of these on uh, eBay in general and also other sites. Also, again, you are protected because obviously eBay does protect the seller very well or the buyer rather, the, uh, the actual vendor is the one who normally gets the money taken away from them. So if you have any problems with this at all, you can go back with uh, through PayPal or eBay and request your money back. Now, at the end of the day, £3.99, even if it only lasted a year, you've still saved yourself the best part of £60 on a office uh, license for 12 months. So even if you had to buy one of these or two of these a month for the rest of the year, you'd still be saving money against the official Microsoft product. So there you go. We've had a look at a, a really good way of getting a Microsoft Office 365 on your computer. What do you think about it? Is this a gray area? Clearly it is. Um, is it illegal? It doesn't seem to be, otherwise Microsoft would certainly take this off of uh, the seller's site. eBay would get into all sorts of trouble and obviously eBay, you don't want to be known for selling dodgy software. But some do slip through the net, so obviously, be careful what you're buying, look at the seller's history, look at what you're actually supposed to get, and obviously don't spend a ton of money on a license which isn't 100% genuine from Microsoft. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews in How To, and this has been How To Get Microsoft Office 365 Pretty Darn Cheap. Thanks for watching.